Welcome back. In part one, we discuss the section 4I4 ADG rig language and how it applies to multi-day pairing. Next, we will see how additional legs added to the original pairing were absorbed by the ADG rig. Our original trip had a leg added to the end of the original day to 5.0 duty period minimum or DPM. The premium value for this added flight is paid above the 5.0 DPM for the day per 4N4, increasing the daily credit from 5 to 6.65 trips for pay. However, the individual daily credit values still total less than the ADG of 19.5 trips for pay so it remains the total trip credit. The effect of this is that the pilot is doing extra work on day two, but for the same overall trip pay. The next reroute included the addition of a deadhead to the beginning of original day three, which resulted in move up premium pay for the day per four and three, and changed the credit for that day from five to six trips for pay. However, once again, the total trip credit remained at the ADG of 19.5 as the individual duty periods only added up to 19.17 trips for pay. The effect of this is that the pilot is now flying two additional legs, ending later on day two and starting earlier on day three, but for the same overall trip pay. For pilots who are utilizing their seniority to bid for trips with low block hours, which pay ADG rig per section 4I4, be aware. You are a target for the crew scheduling Sky Solver program, which looks for the cheapest possible solution to a reroute problem. And you may wind up working additional legs for free because their credit value is absorbed by the ADG rig. Finally, note that while we have used the ADG rig as an example here, the scenario of extra flying credit being absorbed also can apply under certain circumstances to the trip hour ratio rig as well per section 4I3.